Let's begin the stream. Alright, let's put this show on the road. Greetings everyone, my name is Ettervel, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Maker. This is the 30 second live session, where I'll primarily cover various mid levels, and if I have enough time left over, some levels that I find online. In order, in order to submit a level, Please leave us ID in the live chat, but make sure I haven't covered it already. In order to do that, check it, check the ID against this list. And to check to see which level, where on the queue your level is, check out this link. So first off, I'll begin with this stage, Tower Festival by Kroby X, with 15 plays and a score of 4. Feel free to submit levels made by either you or someone else, but no more than two at a time because I want to spread out the levels made by different authors. And I'll update the ideas once I finish this stage. Welcome to stream Queen Monica, Galaxy Man, Leonardo, Antonio, Jaden, Game Idea Guy, Jet Hawk, Lepatio, and anyone else who I missed, as well as Lurkers. Too bad Kroby isn't here. I did turn on DVR, so they should be able to rewind. Well, it is a festival tower. It does make sense in that regard. the Thunderclaw, if I haven't made that apparent enough. Welcome to stream, Dole Whip Ride. Dole Whip Ride, sorry. Glad you can make it. So far, this date is going pretty swimmingly. Of course, he'd be the boss. This is definitely harder than it looks. Thank you for the M tank. I wanted to reset anyway, so no loss. to use that anyways. Yep, this is Kroby's level. A pretty decent level so far. Oh no. Yeah, one of the issues is the system decided to take control and ignore all my inputs, or absorb all my inputs. Two down, and left to go.
This reminds me of a stage in Mega Man 11. Bosses for Mega Man 11. I think Torchman and Blockman are gonna be there. There seems to be a hint to Torchman. Well, I could skip this section by using the Mega Ball, but I won't. Well, actually, I can't. Nomi is supposed to use the time slow here, but... Can I pull this off the fun way? Circumvent the entire challenge, why not? And here you're supposed to use a Mega Ball. I'm just gonna damage boost here instead of using the Mega Ball. A lot more consistent. True, I've always loved the fun teams as well, Dole. Tornado and Spring. I was hoping it'd be this. That'd be fun. Well, this is a fun weakness. And that ends Corby's stage. Pretty fun level. Yep, that is possible, Jedlock. I have seen several speedrun plays for that. So far, starting out pretty good. Let's see... Hey, hmm... I already added your level Queen Monica earlier, so no need to add it again. Okay, replace the level ID. Gotcha. That's B Rush, right, Lapatio? Hope it is. Yeah, there it is. Just to make sure, that's the one. Second up is Bang Woman by Jedox74, with 9 plays and a score of 2. Indeed, Queen Monica, his earlier stages were rather messy, but now they look rather cohesive and have pretty fun cur difficulty curves and gimmicks. What was the earlier stage name, by the way? The name of the earlier stage? Just wanted to make sure. Let's use Proto Man for a change. I think I played your stage during the last stream, but I need to double check. Probably guessing Old West as well, a patio.
Gotcha. You have a secret mind that's on the list. Uh, I was referring to Zachary Lewis. Yeah, I played his stage. That was that was the twelfth or thirteenth stage I played during the last stream. Oh, hang on a minute. There's an alternate path down there. Let's take the lower one. That's good to hear, Queen Monica. For a moment there, I thought this was going to be a spike. Now, because I want to see the upper path as well, I'm just gonna jump over to the checkpoint. Seriously, I pressed jump there. I guess I pressed it too late. Then I'll see the upper route. I'd like to see version 2 in the future. See how interesting it is. So the pass actually link up here. So no progress lost for the most part. Yep, you can dodge those bullets, but it's faster to just take the damage. XX quote unquote old western facility. Wish we had more of the enemies from Tomahawk Man stage. At least we had the beautiful sunset. I say that for men as well.
The end. I like the stage a bit more than Kroby's in terms of aesthetics. Though I felt Kroby's level went by more smoothly. Wait, Metal Man's a speed-based Roadmaster? I never thought of him that way. Also, welcome to the stream, Omega Neo. Sorry I didn't mention you earlier. Third up is Woodman or Flam Man by PJY Weeks with 10 plays and a score of 2. This is going to be short. Yep, it's on my list. If you check the queue, you'll see it's currently in 9th place. Hopefully I don't get really long levels like two of them in during the morning stream. Otherwise, I would have been able to complete 20 levels on that stream. The Metal Man is more of a factory team level. Just bask in the glory of this glitch. Stage done. That's it. Now for the second route. Even with number projectiles he trolls, he isn't really that fast. Yeah, he's more melee or industrial teamed. When I think of a fast stage, I think Quick Man or Nitro Man. I say Snake Man. Stage done. Again. If I knew the stage would be that short, I would have covered it during the previous stream. Board up is Salsa World by Salsita with 11 plays and a score of 1. Welcome to the stream, Gravity Beetle. And a stage that forces us to actually play as part of man. For a stage called Salsa World, this doesn't keep bring to mind spiciness. This is an iced over area. This looks like frozen world or ice cream world, not salsa. So I guess it's a reference to their username. Frozen Salsa, I guess. One of the other levels in their series is called Salsa Land. I have a hunch this level has multiple routes. I'll add my I'll add your level to my queue, Omega. Let me just complete this.
Why not lock off the right side? Yep, by... I know the level designer or programmer made it, but I can't remember the name. Oh, that's it. Probably a fire-based one, Master. Or a food-based one. So, this stage just existed. Though I have a hunch there was an alternate route that I missed. Fifth up is Astrodome by Hijikata99 with 46 plays and a score of 9. Yep, if it was called Saltman, this would make more sense. Is this going to be a puzzle level? Looking like one. Maybe not puzzle completely, but puzzle oriented. Now I can get up over there. Not really that much of a difficult puzzle. Time for the, time for the downward elevator. The really short one. That makes sense, Zachary. That should be better than his original team. Oof. Now another puzzle room. My ultimate objective is to get to the top right, I guess. If I can see my objective. So I need to activate all three of these doors. I just need to find where the blue door switch- okay, there it is. That was fast. I thought this was gonna be a bit harder. Oh. That may cause an issue. Or not. I thought I need to put one in another place, but guess not. Is the stage over already? I would have preferred two more of those large rooms. Those are fun. Kind of a very simple puzzle, all things considered. And we're done. I wish this stage was taken further. If it was, if it had one more of those big puzzle rooms, I would have given it a thumbs up. Be right back in a moment.
Its next stop is Queen Monica Mega Man Maker Adventure Stage 2 Secret Mine by Queen Monica with 14 plays and a score of 2. To answer Zachary Lewis's question, that's because for Mega Man 7 True 8, they had to demake those resources. Whereas for Mega Man 1 True 6, as well as 9, they were already in 8 bit. I think Omega Evolution did 16 bit sprites for them, or at least 32 bit sprites, I don't recall. So this is a level in 3 phases, probably better than the previous one. I'm gonna first start out by getting the 20 to hold. Yeah, 32 bit. Eventually I'll play the Rockman X Silver fan game as well. In fact, I may play it during the next stream, but we'll see. Probably more than two roads, knowing Monica. Gonna need to place it here in case people run out of energy. Fun fact. If you had the concrete shot, you wouldn't be able to take the left route. So let me go up there first. Well, I don't think you can take this route without the concrete shot because you can't reach up here. Now I think about it, you can. I will have to come back here in the future, probably. Assuming the stage loops back like stage 1 did. Jewel Man's team would have been more appropriate too. Though Gemini, Man, though Gemini Man's team sounds more mysterious. I guess that's why she picked it. Wish for... Um... Let's take this. I think the block dropper is more consistent. And take the other one at the same time, why not? Because someone forgot to add a ceiling there. Jenna Man's team does sound a bit mysterious. Does sound mysterious. Down I go, I guess. Hi Toadman. One way of making the encounter a bit tougher. Though not by much. Especially if he stays right over here. Tomorrow's stream, for the first stream during the morning, I'm planning on playing both Base Abyss, Base Abyss, and Cathode Ray Bits 1. And perhaps a third fan game if I have the time. I plan on starting it at 11.50. I plan on starting it at the same time as today. That is 30 minutes earlier than 12 Pacific, Pacific Daylight Time. Well, I guess I take the lore out then. I should have taken the ring boomerang here. Guess I'll have to return back.
Uh, Gravity Beetle is... I don't think they know how it would look in 16-bit. No need to push them. I'll stick to the lower route for the most part. Okay. That was a bit strange. Was YouTube chat breaking again? Maybe not again, but it rarely happens where some chat messages don't appear for some people. This actually marks the end of the level. No looping back to the start. It felt less adventurous than the first stage, but this felt more cohesive. I'd probably extend the bits in, in between each of the different special weapons more, but otherwise, this was okay to decent. It's more polished, but less adventurous and exploratory than the first. If you can combine both ideas into a better product, then it would definitely get a better score and a thumbs up. This is somewhere I'd say 5 or 5.5. 5.5-ish. Oh, it does? Oh, that's why I didn't take it. I see. Even then, it still feels a bit less exploratory. I'd like more sections where the game challenges you to use your special weapons. 7th up is Boss Team Up. 2-0, now better, by Cory Nowak, with 7 plays and a score of 0, aka Boris Serkin. They submitted their stage right at the tail end of the last stream. When I say tail end, I mean just 30 seconds before I closed off the stream. Feel free to suggest a third fan game I can play for tomorrow in the fan game suggestions part of my Discord server. Oh yeah, for those watching also, if you if you haven't already joined my Discord, please join it, as I regularly post updates there. It certainly is more consistent compared to the stuff in YouTube's notification settings. First is Crash and Metal. Oh, should have talked about it earlier. Easy, consistent strat. I do like it, I just want to see it expanded and polished further. So many E-tanks. As well as full weapon responders, full well, full responders for everything, but I'll wait for them. This is a pretty expensive shop for this kind of stage. I wonder how many keys we're gonna get over here.
crash in top. I thought he was a bit further away there, but guess not. Now this fight should be easier. I can get 4 damage in per cycle, perhaps 5 if I push it. Top end is easy by himself. But when combined with Crash Man, he's notably tougher. Stone and Magnet. Oh, this may be a problem. I don't have any other weaknesses, so I'm most likely gonna die over here. Case in point. Uh, let's try the left door first. This should be much easier. Especially as one boss does mostly nothing. He's actually now poses somewhat of a challenge. He's not, he's not just a pushover. And I should have used a checkpoint here. Oops. Let's hope I get some of the weaknesses correct. Knowing my luck though, probably not. Yeah, exactly, Omega Neo. Because they have fewer paths and will, in general were smaller. It did have a few spots where it was meandering, but in general I feel the this version cut off too much stuff. Spark and Spring. Whoa. Oh no, I forgot about that. Watch as I immediately die because I can't actually hurt the boss properly now. Uh, let me see if the shine works. True. In this stage, the shops, the items you buy from the shop are essentially your bolts. I think I have a weakness. But what I really need is a weakness for, for, for Springman himself. So I'll get back here in a moment. Magnet and Pharaoh.
The biggest problem for this fight is Pharaoh, at least for the first half. Now it should get a lot easier. Reminds me of the boss team-ups and Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Certainly fun setups, some tougher than others. Generally the harder ones are on the upper side of this tower. And I don't want to waste my keys on E-Tanks. Not yet anyways. I wish there was a sign outside indicating that the boss have been, has been defeated, but I don't think that's possible in the engine. Otherwise, you can easily forget which one you did, because these rooms, at least entrances, are not distinct. Let me guess, explosive weapon. I don't think I have their weakness, it's not obvious, sadly. And combined with the other issues, well, you get the idea. I'm gonna get one more door here, and then use the key. Shade, and... Grenade. Ah, uh, seriously, I wish there was a little bit better telegraph when he's going to do a dash attack. This will take a few attempts with some of the bosses until I find weaknesses. But I can't refill my weapons either, without getting the weapon respawner unlocked. Oh, uh... Oh no. Well, I can't do it now. Because if I spawn the boss right there, then I have to defeat the ones up there too. So let's see what's here first. Shade and Astro, this is much more doable. Essentially I get soft locked if I do that. For once, I wanted to do Astro Crush. One down, one off to go. Why didn't he drop a key, though? Only got one key from this. That feels kind of like a ripoff. So many more bosses up here, and I'm losing track of who I defeated. Time to nab the other weapons and hope for a weakness. For
Just need one more key and I'll have all the weapons. Then I should have all the boss weaknesses. Assuming the stage doesn't play a trick on me and I have some bosses who don't have weaknesses. Now let's see if I remember where everything is. Nope. Again, I wish there was a sign. Essentially, this is the hard level of this stream. Magnet and stone. I get the impression stone is weak to the missiles. Yeah, he is. Makes sense. Explosive. Not as fight speedable. Well, it was already beatable, but now it's much more beatable. All the bosses should maintain the weaknesses per fight. Only one keys, well, two keys actually. That should be all weapons now. Only thing left is to get the weapon respawner. I don't need to collect the life energy respawner because A, I can always just reset at the next checkpoint. And B, I have unlimited lives. And then I'll invest in E-tanks. I think I defeated all the bosses below. Let me know if I missed one. Again, I wish the environment was more distinct outside of just the signs. Let's try this again. Could we please have a, a logical weakness? Okay, oil for some reason. That doesn't really make sense to me. Well, because there's so many weapons here, some of the weaknesses does not aren't really logical. There. Now this fight's beatable. So his weakness is top spin, I guess. Spring Man's feeling extra springy today. He's finally jumping to the left for some reason. As if he was text edited somehow. Well, this battle's over for once. Back over here with Shade Man. Never mind. As I was saying, back over here with Shade Man and Grenade Man, I guess. Let's test out weaknesses. I'll try taking out Grenade Man first. It's probably then this.
No, not really. That seems fairly effective. Block droppers is weakness. Shade man's, I mean. This is an entertaining, I'll bet, a more difficult level, and... Game? Hello? Okay, what just happened? Someone forgot to put a teleporter here. That's the soft lock for the stage. Instant minus. Jokes aside, that really should be fixed. Because if a player foolishly goes in there, they're stuck. And remember, I don't need to defeat all the bosses to complete the stage, probably. I just need to defeat most of them. Or enough to open the door at the end. So, concrete and spring. I'll try a different boss. This is an some of the combos are rather annoying to do, Buster only. Even with their weaknesses, they're a bit annoying until you get a weapon respawner. Then you can spam your weapons freely. Top and tornado though, that's fine. At least for part of the battle. I think I have a weakness, noise crush against top man, but still just a hunch. Again, I'd be more experimental if I actually had a weapon respawner unlocked, which I could have had by this point, but I need keys to do it. No, that's not really his weakness. Do bosses share weaknesses? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, bosses do share weaknesses then. I would like this stage more, but I want a weapon responder from the very beginning, because otherwise some of these boss battles will you'll have to die over and over before you defeat them. I'm gonna spend over 20 minutes on this stage. My main suggestions are to make each of the boss rooms, especially their outsides, more distinct, so players know in advance which bosses they already defeated. Perhaps put the keys outside, outside of the doors and force players to slide in. That way you can see from a first glance if they defeated the boss or not. Okay, this has a teleporter, good. I was worried for a moment there. The only things left to do for me are to unlock the weapon respawner, get a few E-tanks, then I'll end off the stage.
Now I can spam my special weapons to my heart's content. Get used to hearing this sound. There we go, all up to full. Let's take the top one. I won't spend that much time in this stage anymore. Probably only get two or three more keys, that's all. You know what, let me see if I can end the stage right now. Just ignore everything and get to the top. Maybe see what's here. She shoot. Oh, I already did this. Never mind. Once again, terrain looks similar. Let me at least see what the bosses here are, then I'll exit out of here. Hope there's no limit of keys up there. I'm repeating myself by this point because I have nothing more to say about this stage. There is the exit. Bubble and Skull, that's possible. And not all bosses are created equal boss duos. Bomb and Knight. And Spring and Flame. So let's get out of here. Concrete, grenade, and shade. I know the weak I know one of the weaknesses. Or not. Wish I had the time slow for this. And I know what Concrete Man's weakness is, it's just gonna be a pain to use. Seriously, that's why I don't like fighting Concrete Man with pretty much any other boss. Because random stuff like that can happen. Uh, I wish I had an E-Tank for this. But I used it already. Well, I can backtrack, so... And I used up my E-Tank, so time to face off against at least two more bosses. This end boss is gonna be a pain. Concrete Man with basic and anyone else makes the fight so much tougher. And also we have Shade Man. And non-obvious weaknesses. Yeah, I'm starting to arrive with this stage because the issues start piling up at the end if you want to try doing it with weaknesses because then you have to test it out against every boss and memorize what they are. For example, why of all things would you assume the Leaf Shield would be good against fi Flame Man? That's the opposite. That makes n I know some weaknesses make no sense, but this more so. Again, I wouldn't mind it too much if this was a regular Mega Man stage. Regular, regular Mega Man Maker stage. But for this kind of level, no. By himself, he's not as bad, but with someone else, oof. If he didn't have his concrete shot attack, it'd be a lot. I'd be more okay, or he, or he had a more wind up to that attack.
Why not place another checkpoint right up over there? Then it'd be a bit easier to get everything. In fact, there should be many more checkpoints up over here, especially with the bosses. It feels like a glaring omission to me. Ah, uh, no. It's okay over there because there are only 8 bosses, but here, because of the number of bosses and other issues, not so much. Like I said, if it's a regular stage or there's only 8 arms to worry about, a lot more okay. And also, the other thing that makes Sparkman easier, you only need to face up against Sparkman himself. No one else with him. I guess he's weak to the shine then. Feels like it at the very least. Because you can sever wires with a blade. At least that's how I taught it. Again, it wouldn't be if some of the boss combos were less annoying. Again, it wouldn't be as bad if Concrete Man wasn't the boss at the end. And why do some of the bosses not drop keys? Seriously, that's one of the things that really should happen. Wait, hang on a minute. Welcome to the stream, Heavy. Here's a trick. Use the keys here, pick up the E-Tanks, reset from here. Note that I still have the two E-Tanks, but I now have the two keys refunded. Go over here, spend the two keys, get two more E-Tanks, so now I'm up to four. Uh, exploiting the engine's meta progression, or universal storage. Should have talked about this earlier. Now I should be able to complete the stage properly. Again, I would have completed the stage 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago if I had not decided to go through all the bosses and if Concrete Man wasn't the end boss. So 10 minutes for that. I mean, I could have just waltzed right to the end of the stage immediately from the very beginning and if I'm skilled enough with the buster I could have done it. I doubt it though with the, with the difficult trio boss. And at the very least, if you go up there, you have the ability to backtrack. I was hoping to not have another longer stage, but I guess we did. Although most of it's optional. Priority number one, defeat Concrete Man. I don't think the Leaf Shield's his weakness, but figuring it out is going to take too long. Alright, Hardest Boss has been defeated. Now this fight should be sh so much easier. Now we can test our weaknesses properly.
Air shooter. Okay. So you need to start the stage from the very beginning, not pick up anything else. You at least have Shade Man's weakness. It's done, this stage is over. After spending over 40 minutes on it. Ugh. See, I like some of the combos, but some of the combos are definitely... They don't feel doable buster only. Or, or perhaps they are, but require so much more skill than others. And because of this and how most of the stage is optional, it suffers from an inconsistent difficulty curve. Yet again, this problem wouldn't have existed if Concrete Man was the third boss at the end, was not. Only recommend this stage to more skilled Mega Man Maker players. 8 up is B Rush Normal Re Upload by the Patio with 23 plays and a score of 8. And as a quick reminder, After Lepatio is Le you, Leonardo, then Salsita, then Omega Neo. How much damage boosting? Seems like it's gonna be another 80 or 90 screen level. Although, unlike the previous one, at least I'll make some progress here every so often. Whenever I hear the start of this team, I first think of Maze of Dead from Magma 1. This is the NS attack team from Mega Man 9, I believe. Oh. To exhaust our Hornet Chaser energy, I guess. Or bring it down to two. So I better conserve it. Now you're force beamed somewhere. Okay, just dash through. Um... Okay, um... How do I get through that then? Do I need to just rush forward faster? Oh, I see. So I just need to rush forward towards the right, essentially.
and make sure not to despawn the bee. Good thing I'm playing his base, as I can outrun it. Now I have one. I have enough HP to survive with one blow, one left. Now I understand why that boom. Now I understand why the patio said this is a damage boosting level. But this is certainly unique. I haven't seen a stage use this where you have to race away from your item picker. I've never seen this used before in Mega Man Maker. So props go to the patio for the creativity. Ow. Well, I'm dead. I didn't expect the Jari to be there. Welcome to the stream, Giants Nations. I would have expected another level designer to do something similar, but by this point, but the Patty is the first one on stream to have this creative idea. Yeah, I knew I was dead there. Take two. Yep, we are some levels. If only there was a way to just refill a part of your Hornet Chaser energy. That way this wouldn't be necessary. Oh no lag... The lag ate one of my inputs and caused me to get stuck. the issues with some of these jumps. Frank, in some ways it's actually harder than the last challenge, first two ones. It's supposed to be harder of course, but more so because of the where you need to initiate the dash jumps. And of course this. Once again, I wish this was a ROM hack, or the Mega Mix engine, but that's true for most stages I play, so you know this complaint by, by this point if you watch my LP series for long enough. There we go. Perfect. The hardest part of that challenge was actually the beginning, then the tops. Only one this time. This time we're going down. Come on, dash jump. That first dash jump actually failed to execute, so I could have failed it pretty easily. Room number five. This time, going up. Let's see what's up ahead first. Yep, 
Yeah, I knew I was gonna fail here, but I just want to scout ahead and see what the challenges are. Do we really need to drop the player's weapon energy for the Hornet Chaser down to one or two? That wouldn't change the challenge by much if we just kept it at max and skipped these rooms. Because then, if I had more, I could reset it like- oh, I see why. If you give one or two, you can't just reset it like that. And now I have to worry about Sparkman platforms too. And controls not working. This is gonna be a horrible combination. I don't like having to do this over and over, just one screen. I just prefer directly jumping into this, that challenge instead of having to wait 10 seconds to get back here. Well, maybe 7 or 8 seconds, but you get the idea. <sighs> this is the part where my fun's gonna evaporate slowly over time. Another reason why I wish this was a ROM hack or a better engine. But enough of that, I'm selling a broken record. I don't know if I'll be able to complete this stage. This one challenge room is much more. See, I don't know why this keeps happening. I press the dash button and yet it doesn't activate. On the turret conveyor belt. Alright, time to adjust my mindset for the stage. Treat it as a Kaiser level. That should make it actually more feasible. That fast. Suddenly the difficulty spiked up quite a bit. I'll spend about three to four more minutes on the stage. If I can't succeed here, I'll just see the rest of the stage in the level editor. This is not a normal stage. This is... Frankly, the normal moniker of the stage is a huge lie. This should be hard or very hard. See, compared to most other normal stages I've played by Lepatio, this is harder than all of them. Well, except one or two of them, but in general, this is harder than most of the other hard stages I've played by Lepatio. See what I mean? This one screen alone is the biggest problem. I can do it going from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, but bottom to top with these platforms and setups, no. You know what, sorry everyone, but I'm gonna have to give up here and skip ahead. I already foresee I will not be able to do this. Not without dying several other times and frankly just wasting everyone's time. My main suggestion for this stage is to rename this to being hard. This is not designed for a normal audience at all. Saying it's normal gives the wrong impression for this kind of stage. Oh sure, the first two or three challenges rooms, they're normal to sort of normal, 
But 4 and 5 and beyond, no, absolutely not. They're not something I consider a normal challenge. Simply put, you need there's some jump and precision that's required that doesn't mesh well with the rest of the stage. I won't download the stage Lepatio, but frankly this is outside of my skill level. Somewhere between a challenge level, I'll call it a challenge stage, some people may cause it a, call it a Kaizo. Oh, and this stage is actually 111 screens long, too. Oh no, there's a hard mode version of this. If this difficulty holds true, I label this as hard, and I label the hard version as very hard, or brutal, or you know what I mean. So how far did it get? Oh, only made it up halfway through the level. I know what to do here, but let's see what the rest of the stage pulls out. Because once you get past here, you have to worry about jumping over those force beams. And this teleporter takes you over here, I believe. Which then takes you... here, to the next room. Which takes you back over here. So another conveyor section, more tops, more beams to worry about, although honestly this is much easier than the previous room. In fact, let me try it out, just for fun. Already I can say this challenge is easier than the previous one, by s several orders of magnitude. Wish respawning was faster, but... I don't know if this was intended to be a breeder challenge, but this was infinitely easier. Maybe not infinitely, but several orders of magnitude. Oh no. Oh, of course. Let me see how far I can get through this stage while using the level editor, to at least show how you're supposed to get through this. Oh, I thought I tap jumped. So close.
Oh boy. Yeah, wouldn't make it there. See, these challenges are so much more fun than at one challenge. That one feels... See, I wouldn't mind if the rest of the stage was actually as difficult as that or harder, but no. The rest of the stage is so much infinitely easier. I don't know what happened. It feels like that should- it feels that that one room should be part of the hard mode, not this one, and it was left in by mistake. If only I spend all this time going through this. I'll give it two more attempts and just end it off early, because I want to cover Leonardo's level. Two more left. Series. Okay, I know what to do here. See you tomorrow then. It's gonna be 30 minutes earlier like today's morning stream. I can, but remember, dashing off of anything moving is a risky maneuver here. This is not a ROM hack or Megamix or Magmal 2. Any authority about key doors and whatnot. All I can say is, this is certainly a fun level or entertaining stage for a more skilled Mega Man player audience. This wouldn't be too bad of a race level, too. But I would remove. But strong suggestion, I would remove this part of the stage because it feels out of place with the rest. It's so much more difficult than any other challenge in the stage that it breaks the difficulty curve. Move this over to the very hard version of the stage. And that marks the end. Yes, Eduardo? See, I want to like the level. That I'll just end it off with that. Next week, Eduardo. Well, technically tomorrow, but that's a bit special. For various mid levels, next week. Ninth up is Yoshi 2019 by KFC Man's Adventure, aka Leonardo Antonio. You're welcome, the patio. It's just that one blemish that takes away from the stage. I've recommended to more skilled Mega Man Maker players and Kaizo players. For example, Game Fox, Yigami 2, Buster, Brickman, etc. Thanks for all the tanks. I can't double jump here, only dash. Only rolling counters, so I'm a bit worried. Uh, thanks for everything. I guess Sir Snake is the boss's weakness then. That's alright. If you label this state, if you label the state as being hard and remove that one section and move it to the end, this would feel a lot more okay. It'd feel- it'd better prepare me for expectations. Boss's weapon, got it. And yeah, this is Feast Man Mach 2. A D-made version with the limited set of assets available here. And I suppose the boss's weakness is then the, the Crystal Eye, as it's the closest replica to the Bounce Ball. Sparks. Mm -hmm. 
Good thing I can suck them into black holes. Magma Bazooka? I thought Fuseman was weak to the bounce ball and Crystal Eye would be the closest replacement. I don't think Magma Mazuga would be the weakness of, for example, Last Man. I'm not sure, Jedok. I'm just going to Leonardo's level. Yoshi 2019, aka Fuse Man version 2. So far, in terms of level design, it feels very fateful. Got it. Frankly, a better buster than a rolling cutter. Mini boss time, I guess. Uh oh. Well, that's one way of making the boss a bit easier. Just wish I had a weak. Probably do have a weakness. That seems to be it. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but certainly better than the base buster. Oh yes it is. Well, it's a variant of Stone Man, so I do like it as a mini-boss. It changed up Stone Man enough from his original counter, makes him more like a fortress boss in a way. Or mini-boss, of course. In all stages, the Mega Man 11 had a mini-boss. Let's see how quickly I'll die here. Okay. Is that how you're supposed to get through? What I really want is a checkpoint. But I have 9 RDE tanks, so might as well just use them right now. It's not like I have only a- it's not like I only have one. You know, I'd mark the state as being an honorable mention. It's Fuse Man's original level, but taken further. Because I don't recognize some of this level design. Because some of his original level design wouldn't work currently in the, in the confines of Mega Man Maker. Confines, not co-fines. So definitely an honorable mention. Good work, Le decent work, Leonardo. 
Decent, almost good. Well, I'd mark this at least being a 7 out of 10, if I were to give it a score. Based on my first impressions, of course. Well, he's super weak to the flame bazooka. So that was Yoshi 2019. Should have had a better name though. Probably call it Fuseman Extended or something. Because it's currently my honorable mention, one of them. Tenth up is Salsa Quest by Sal Sita, with five plays and a score of zero. See you later, Leonardo. Hope to see you tomorrow for Base Abyss and Cathode Ray Bits 1. Remember, 30 minutes earlier like today. After this, I'll play Omega News level and end off the stream. Yeah, I got your message already, the patio. I accept your apology. I cut man. Sorry for stealing a weapon in the last episode, or last stream. Just like in the Ruby Spears cartoon. I'd do the same here if I was playing as part of man. Starting this level is leaving a better impression compared to Salsa World. It actually feels somewhat like a level, below par mostly. Crystal Mans. I hope his weakness is this. Yep. Back to Proto. There is a fascinating history behind the Ruby Spears animation design and how all the RMs are designed. But that's for another day. So the 11th and final level of the stream is Searing Sky Fortress by Omega Neo with 29 plays and a score of 5. By the way, the VOD of the previous stream will be up by in a few hours. Wait, he was never part of the show? I thought he was part of one episode. Guess I don't recall exactly. So this is a speedrunner friendly stage Omega. Let's see how fast I can speedrun this. Do I get the feeling there are paths for Mega Man which I can't take? Especially as my weapon is a magma bazooka, so that lends well to speedrunning. So this would be another race this would be another good race level.
I see. I thought he was in the later season. The last season. Dark Man had a cool voice in that. You know, to be frank, I didn't really mind the designs of the RMs in the Ruby Spears cartoon. They certainly look more like men compared to the designs in classic Mega Man for the most part. At least until Mega Man 7. Number 2. At least you got plenty of memes from the Ruby Spears cartoon. Sony has much better designs than Captain NES. Pharaoh Man, Guts Man, Pat Man's Incompetence. So many memes there. This state is definitely built for speedrunning. Fun level. I recommend this as a race stage for Let Me Level Do You. And this concludes all of the levels that are currently on my stream. I was worried to have some left over for next week, but nope, everything is done. Wish Upon a Star is a different series, it's an OVA, and it's only about three or four episodes long. Uh, yes, Captain Ennius butchered every Ennius game, whereas Ruby Spears at least had a decency to be respectful somewhat from the source material. I mean, compared to RM designs in that to uh, Captain Ness, I mean Ruby Spears, just think of them as being more older versions of the RMs. At least there you could recognize them as being just slight, uh, being different variants of the same RMs. Even Recharged had a decency of that. That's why I don't mind the designs as much, and I wish some games actually use the designs there, because I, I find it to be pretty neat. Mega Man in the cartoon is somewhat sarcastic and goofy. Roll is awesome there. They did, and to a certain extent they were successful. I don't agree with all the redesigns and voice lines, but hey, they did a, bit, they did a much better job making them cool. But Roll was made, made into an action girl for that series, and that was awesome. Wish we could wish some of those attacks were imported into the classic series. The voices of Lion and Wily and Mega Man were spot on, though. Even Proto Man, the Roll, I think they all fit their perspective roles correctly. It's just that some of this, it's just that most of the episodes, I feel, didn't really hit the mark as they should have. Anyways, out of the 11 levels I covered during this stream, my favorite one would be Tower Festival by Kroby X, with two honorable mentions going to Bag Wo Bang Woman by Jedox74 and Yoshi2019 by Leonardo Antonio. So tomorrow, just like today's earlier morning stream, I'm going to be covering Base Abyss and Cattled Rabbits 1, and a third fan game if I have more time, but we'll see about that. Well then, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Toodles!